I'm scared. <laughs> I'll see you on the other side. Jorge's doing mushrooms today. Jorge's doing mushrooms today, that's right. In Amsterdam. I'm doing mushrooms and we're gonna be walking around, we're gonna be showing you guys what it is like and I'm gonna be explaining as much as I can how, how it feels and all that shit. We'll show you guys. And, and you're all probably that wondering, stuff. Jordan, are you a pussy or something? Why aren't you doing this too? <clears throat> Thing is, mushrooms make me really sick. Like, shaky, vomit, diarrhea, sick. Sorry if that was gross. They really mess up my stomach, so I just know it wouldn't be good. We've okay. said it before, you are allergic to mushrooms. Right. Imagine being allergic to it and then being on the actual effects when you get an allergic reaction, that would be pretty bad. So we're just not gonna trying. avoid that. Yeah. But it will be a trip to watch Jorge trip. So yeah. I'm excited. And mom and dad, I know you're watching this, but yeah, it's, family, Amsterdam. Guys, it's, it's Amsterdam. It's it's Amsterdam. It's legal here, which means it's it's not a problem. So and I'm gonna I'm gonna take real good care of him. Mm -hmm. Not gonna freak him out at all. <laughs> just kidding but like but it'll yeah be good. i want to try it for the first time so trying mushrooms for the first time in amsterdam the skinny okay we just bought it and it's called mexicano which is perfect yeah it is perfect we were talking to the girl that works there a little bit about what the best way to do it it is if it's smart because we're gonna go to a part uh, a museum and all that and if it's smart to do all that it's just the best way to do it and then she told us about how if i was feeling a little anxious or i wanted the the effects to stop how we can stop it and all that stuff it's, it's just, just like take a lot of sugar if he's not enjoying it and eventually mm -hmm. it'll kind of dissolve the effects we even got, got a little manual right here how to take mushrooms this should be called how to, how to take mushrooms but it's all you need to know about magic truffles that's the thing it's in this package so it comes in this like clear package this is 10 grams yeah. and it was nine euros and 50 cents which is the proper dose i think right and that's what they look like we're gonna open them up well we're, we're show them here in a minute it's a, like it's dry seal whatever tight yeah. she said it tastes like dirt so i hope jorge oh they're gonna taste enjoys horrible. it <laughs> they're gonna taste horrible so they're called truffles because they're not really the mushrooms they come from the roots of the mushroom because the actual mushrooms were banned here in Amsterdam about 10, 2008, 2008 2007, 2007 or some shit like that. Now, th those were banned. This were not banned. The, what, was actually, what was actually banned was the actual mushroom itself. And that's what they're called truffles. But they have the exact yeah, same. Yeah, I don't really understand. Yeah. That's the same thing. Yeah, well, yeah, they have the same, they have the same psychedelic effects and all that stuff. But, um... They give us a little manual where um, it's like on different different um, languages and all that. And then at the very end, you get all the different kinds of truffles. So there is the my ones, the medium, and then the strong ones, and then the crazy ones. So I'm gonna take the very first one since this is my first time, and I could expect. So I could expect mild visuals, energetic, funny, euphoric euphoric and perfect for starters i'm scared and they're about to taste because i have to i have to eat all this but you have to chew them all so you get all the play whatever it's damn oh they look so what bad. time is it right now it's well you basically are eating dirt 156 fungus. yeah i hope you enjoy the fungus Jorge. i don't even want to smell them should i smell no. them here show them okay that's what they look like yeah, they look like shit <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with the big one, you know? No, just throw them all in there. Chew it. No, she said not to throw them all Oh, there. okay. You're good. Okay. You're good. Keep chewing. Mmm. Mmm. Dirt like? And grass. And grass? Mmm. Mm. I love grass and dirt. But they. He only ate one, chew. and how many are left? Like. But the one that I ate was the big one. I'm trying to chew them as much because that's what she said I should do. Yeah. The thing about it is. So like, as you chew, oh, it just it turns into small little small pieces, you know? Really? It's yeah. It's not like it becomes mushy, but 
it just turns into really, really small pieces. Ah. Oh, it has a really metallic. Mm. It has a really metallic flavor. Here, you want to smell my breath? Smell my breath. Smell my breath. Ooh, that smells like asshole, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you on the other side. Uh -uh. So it's been about a full hour. The actual timestamp, the physical timestamp is my phone turns on it is 3 14 so it's been over an hour and how do you feel it's been probably like an hour yeah state your feelings okay it's hard to describe because i feel like i have to describe to like how you feel and what you see you know mm -hmm. but the way i feel it's just like really light you know like i feel really light it's just really easy and it flows with the air too for some reason but then, then the visuals, okay, the visuals are actually weird because I don't see anything like far away. Like I can look at like the, the, the plants and shit and it's just, it's not really a big difference, you know? But then once I like, if I'm like looking at this sidewalk, like all those rocks, and if I stare a little too long, it feels like they move. And then I was just staring at this thing and it all- I, I, gave, I gave him my scarf to look at because it's kind of windy out here and that has like a cool pattern on it. So I gave it him to look at it and then he goes, it looks so cool, all the bubbles and stuff. No, but it was because <laughs> like I was holding it like this and then just air just like it started to get really windy. So like a lot of air was like moving and shit and that's when it started moving. But you feel good. Yeah. You're enjoying it. Oh yeah, definitely. It's just trippy, like, but it feels really nice. This thing feels really nice. And so you've been, he's been talking a lot about like the sensory of it, like the feeling and touching, like yeah. touching Cause it's hard nice. to describe. You go into it so smooth that you can't really, you lose like perception of what's real and what's not, you know? Right, it's not it like weed where it kind of yeah, hits you You hit it, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Cause on weed you hit it and it's just like, oh damn, I'm high. But here it's like, Everything is just like smoothly goes, like we were walking and uh, all of a sudden I'm just like, okay, I'm high, like <laughs> I can tell I'm high, you know? But it was just like, when we were walking, the only reason as to why I feel like, dude, my face looks, it feels crazy. <laughs> my, my, my little hairs of like beer and stuff, it feels funny. Okay, but when we were walking, it was just really subtle. It was really subtle as to why like, I was able to tell that I was high. It was mainly like the wind, the way it was hitting my face, you know? Mm -hmm. It was like, I could feel it like going through like all of my, you know, face. And that's why I could tell that I was high. Well, we'll keep you updated because in a, like a couple hours or two hours or whatever, we're going to this like trippy museum called oh, Mocha yes. Museum. And we'll see how he reacts in there. Hopefully, it's how I expect it. <laughs> we'll see you back soon. Jorge is currently feeding those birds right there because he's really intrigued by them. Because they're so <laughs> smart. Watch, watch. Okay. Look, you see how they just like go for it? Yeah. Here? Like, but I wish I had more crumbs like that. We're about to go into the museum. I'm still a little high. And I got, got a little drunk to be mm, yeah. honest. Okay, okay, listen, moms and dads on both sides of the family, listen, I am taking care of Jorge. And she I know has. you're probably like, then why would you get drunk, Jordan? Jorge all day has been literally acting so normal. And I know you're probably thinking, well, he's still on drugs, Jordan. True. And I have been like watching over him completely. But he's described it to me and I know what he's feeling and I know how he's acting. Yeah. So I decided to get a little tipsy before we got to the museum. I, drank, I drank I drank a, a glass of wine because I am still high and I'm still gonna have a couple of hours in it. But they said that that enhances the feeling of yeah, the mushrooms cause, yeah, because we, we're about to go to the museum. Cool spots 
what's in it. Yeah, but there's like two, three good room but, rooms. But and yeah. out of the three floors, I'd only want to do like one floor, and that was below where all the lights are, and they're really cool and trippy. Apart from that, you go into a room, and there's two things or something. It feels like an art gallery. Like that's what it feels like. Until it's like you get downstairs. Yeah, it's like it feels like if you were like at the Van Gogh Museum. Until you get <laughs> but downstairs. it's not Van Gogh. Yeah, but it's I not don't know Van Gogh. who it is. And the people in the security also act like if if you were watching like if you were seeing Van Gogh's like art, but you're not. Right. Because, like they have each other on mic and like yeah. in the air and stuff. And they go, they go, they come up to you and they're like. Guys, one minute, one minute, one minute. We're closing one minute, one minute. And it's like, bro, chill. Okay. To like, be fair, I, I did buy the tickets, the cheapest they But they were don't, available. I mean. And it, it was 6.20, they closed at 7, so we technically only had 40 minutes, and I knew that that's probably why the tickets were so cheap. Yeah. But we were at literally I mean, but, the end yeah. of it, and there's this, like, exhibit outside. We're going to show it. We'll there's an exhibit it. outside that they have. And we're waiting in line, and it's it is like seven. Okay, I give them that. But it's seven o'clock, though. We it's seven zero seconds, zero right. fucking minutes. We Just bought seven our tickets, everything, and the security guard, and he goes, "Okay, guys, we're closing." And then I go like, in front of a whole line. I'm like, I'm like, we're already right here. Can we not get into it? And he's like, "No, it costs three fifty. And he goes, "Tomorrow, though, tomorrow." You guys probably just saw those clips there. Yes, You're we found. You're probably wondering what the hell is that? Exactly, we were wondering the same thing, but we saw these people dancing far away from us, and we were and like, we were like Fuck "Yeah, it. we gotta dance too." With we love the club. We love. Oh dancing. hell yeah! So we come up, and then it's just a bunch of people just literally dancing with headphones on so we started dancing without the headphones and they just came up to us and started vibing and then yeah, they put us headphones so we just started vibing it and yeah. we probably were there for like an hour just dancing oh with yeah them. definitely it was actually okay it was actually really funny you're probably like oh you guys were dancing with like older women and stuff that sounds so fun you're in amsterdam why aren't you on fucking drugs guess what jorge is on drugs first of all and second of all Fuck it, it we, was do, we do what we want. It was so fun. And yeah. it was free. They yeah. could just they just threw the headphones on us. Yep. It was really fun. And that's okay, it. that's it for this video. Mushroom um, vlog out. Yeah, Amsterdam. Amsterdam Day. Very Amsterdam Day. Ow.